So I saw this clip and I thought it was pretty interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and let it play and then we're going to come back and talk about it. Did y'all see that interview with Irv Gotti? Those of you who don't know, Irv Gotti is like a rapper, producer. He used to be popping back in the day. Now it's not so much, whatever. He's in his 50s. I think he's like 53. So he's in this interview and he's talking about how he doesn't think he's ever going to find love. He goes on to describe that he's dating a 26 year old woman, gorgeous. And she, she asked him for 25K. And he's like, where does she get off asking me for this? Why does she have the right to ask me for this? Blah, 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 blah. And I understand, but why are you as a 50 year old man wanting to date women who are 26, arguably in the prime of her life, and you think that she wants to be with you for you? You're trying to find love. You don't want to date women your age. You only want to date 20 year olds. And you think that they're going to be with you because of who you are. And that makes sense to you? I'm I'm so sorry, I'm really lost. Why, who, who, who would do that? Why don't you date women your age who are looking for love? Y'all don't, y'all don't want the 50 year old women. You only want the young 20 year olds and you want them to be with you because of who you are as a person. That's a joke. That is a joke. That's a big joke. You're hilarious. And the gag is he used to be married. He was in love. He did find love. He cheated on her. The story, the story is too good to write. Like in what world would that make sense? If you are really looking for love, why don't you wanna look for love with women who are in your own age, women who you can relate to, women who grew up at the same time that you did. Y'all actually have something to talk about. You don't want that. You wanna go for the 20 year olds who you think are young and fine and dumb and you want them to be with you because you're Irv Gotti? I don't know, guys. The jokes write themselves. I don't have anything else to say. I think the way she broke that down was pretty funny. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the clip that she's talking about when Irv Gotti was talking about that situation. This way, if you don't know who Irv Gotti is and you don't know the situation, you can see it for yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and play the clip. I'll be right back. You love to have one with me 100%. Mm. I just don't think it's out there for me. 26 year old Dominican, gorgeous. So she asked me for 25,000. Damn. She's a real one. Let's make some noise for her. <laughs> 25,000. I was like, where does she get off asking me for 25,000? And then in the back of my head, I'm like, this is the tip of the iceberg. Mm, 100%. If she's my girl, mm. that she gonna ask, I need a hundred. Mm, her mess. Get all of this money from my family right. to have some bad come around and just start siphoning it out. That's never happening, y'all. So there's the clip that she's talking about. I want to put my two cents in on this. And I know my fellas are going to come at me for this one, but I agree with this chick. I agree with her. She is absolutely correct. Some of these men are just as delusional as these women. When y'all say these women want the man who's six figures and he's six feet tall and he got all this stuff going on, this is the same thing. There are some 50, 60 year old men who are still killing it, still look good, still healthy, carry themselves well. That's a different situation. That's different because the George Clooney's and the, the Idris Elba's, those dudes are different. They can go out and pull a 26, 30 year old girl who is going to like them for them. But if you are a regular, smegular dude, and you think you're gonna go out there and find you a, a top dime piece and you ain't gonna have to break no bread you are insane irv Gotti is nothing special he's nothing special he's a regular looking dude he's a millionaire though so these women will date him but he's gonna have to break that bread he's gonna have to break that bread and any man in his situation you're gonna go out and meet women who are going to act like they're very interested in you they are but she's 25. She don't know anything about Murder Inc. She was two when that was popping off. She don't know anything about that. So she don't see Irv Gotti, the music mogul. She just see an old man who's trying to get in her panties. That's it. She hear those songs on the radio and she just like them. She don't know the history behind Murder Inc. and what you had to do. You gotta explain that to her. She has to watch behind the music to understand who the hell you are. So for him to think he's gonna go get a 26 year old who's gonna like him for him, he's crazy. And I know there are gonna be some men in the comments who are gonna say, well, I met a girl and, and she liked me, good for you, homie. But that is not gonna be the case for most of these men. When Kevin Samuels was talking that talk, not dating women over 35 and all of this, he wasn't talking about the regular schmegler dude. He was talking about dudes with bread. But those dudes with bread, they have to break bread. You ain't gonna just have a lot of money and not give him any. What the hell is she standing around you for? 
And I'm not talking about a guy who's just out sleeping with these women. I am talking about a guy looking for a woman to ride into the sunset with. Like Irv Gotti said, something serious. These women ain't hanging around if you ain't breaking no bread. I'm talking about the top 10 Instagram model type chicks. They're not standing around if you ain't coming up out those pockets. And you're 58 years old. Why would she do that? There's a bunch of young dudes out there who got bread. They can spend their time trying to trap him. So what I'm saying is, if you're 55 and you believe you're going to go out and get you a 25-year-old dime piece, top of the line dime piece, who's going to like you strictly for you, you're delusional. And for any man who disagrees with me, I want you to go out and show me a man right now who is 30 years older than his girlfriend and they split the bills 50-50 or she pays everything or she takes care of him. But here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. She has to be fine. I ain't talking about some, some girl who got seven kids who just need help, wants some companionship. I ain't talking about some girl who's been struggling her whole life getting a man. I am talking about like, like, like she's a 10, a nine or 10. Like this woman has men with money coming at her all day, every day. And she has a regular schmegler dude who's just a, a regular guy who makes $40,000 a year. And she's splitting bills with him and she's fine as all get out. There's like two of those situations in the whole world because that is not the reality. They like older men for what they can do. They're more established. They bring more to the table than these younger dudes. I'm not saying this can never happen. I'm talking about the rule, not the exception. If you're a regular smuggler guy, you're 55 years old, you're on a fixed income, you're a little overweight, and you think you're gonna go out and get you a 26 year old fine girl. I gotta stress that because a lot of men gonna say, I got a 26 year old, but none of the 26 year old guys want that 26 year old. Like I'm talking about a fine girl that everybody will consider fine. If you think you're gonna go out and get one of them, who's gonna like you for you, you're just as delusional as those women calling into Kevin Samuel's show and Kendra G show. You're delusional. You can get one, but you're gonna have to break some bread. Now the other argument will be, well the older women want money from you too. And you're correct. But in that situation, you have a better chance of it being genuine. It's always a crapshoot when you're dating people. You never know what their true intentions are. But you'll see a 45-year-old woman who would date a man who's 55, who doesn't have a lot going for himself. Regular guy, regular $50,000 a year guy. She'll date him. But those 25-year-olds ain't going to do it. I'm talking about a fine one. They ain't going to do it. I know I'm about to get a lot of hate from the fellas on this one, but I don't care. I speak my mind. I'm not going to sit here and agree with it just because it's about men. It doesn't matter to me. She's right. There are other reasons why a young girl would want an older dude. He can teach her stuff. He, he's more mature. So I'm not saying there's no other reason she will want you. But if you don't got that bread, none of that other stuff is going to matter to her. It doesn't matter. She doesn't care about your maturity and all this other stuff if you're broke. Or if you're barely making it, fixed income type of guy, and she and she's a dime piece, and she got NBA players in her DMs. She's not about to hang around you for that. If you are a guy, and you're in your 50s, 60s, or whatever, and you have the intentions of dating a younger girl, and when I say date, I am talking about marriage or just long term. Get your money up, or it ain't gonna happen. Unless you're willing to settle for one of those younger girls that the younger men don't want. Some girl who got a lot of stuff going on and she needs some help. She ain't gonna be that cute. Gonna have some physical issues going on, some mental issues going on. You gonna have to accept that. She gonna be 25 though. Now staying physically fit will help as well, but without that dough, long term, it's gonna be a problem. But that's what you're gonna get. So all that only date women who are in their 20s don't apply to 80% of the men out there. 80% of you won't have that option. But if you got that bread, you will. That's why I said Irv Gotti is insane. Because you're going to have to break some bread. He doesn't have the stature of George Clooney. George Clooney was the top of the food chain when it comes to bachelors. This man was voted the most eligible bachelor I don't know how many times. And even he married a woman closer to his age bracket. He was 50, almost 60, and he married a 40-something-year-old woman. Why do you believe he did that? Because even he knew he wasn't going to find true love from a 22-year-old when he's almost 60. Even he knew that. You got some guys out there who will date 25-year-olds because they're not trying to find anything serious. But when it comes to finding something serious, these guys know. They know the rules. Bill Gates, who got divorced from his wife 
of 27 years is in a relationship with a woman. Bill Gates is 68. This woman is 60. Why would he be dating a woman who's 60 years old? He understands he has a better chance of this being real because she's in his age group. You can disagree with me if you want, but it is what it is. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.